like the girls who who run this, my absolute favorite people in the world, they, I was so clean and, and tidy when I was first in here. Um, and then they came in and they're like, we kind of want you to be like who you are. And I was like, are you telling me I can do whatever I want? And then it's like, yeah, like as long as when you move out, which, and I'm like, which is never. And they're like, okay, as long as you are, um, you know, you just paint everything white again. I started my residency at the heart Wollongong at the start of lockdown. One of the best decisions that I've ever made in my entire life, like both creatively and mentally, especially in regards to like having that definite line of personal space and professional space, if I could call what I do professional. Yeah. This is my lovely little room. As you can see, I don't have a lot of spots to chill out because I'm normally just sitting on the floor or standing. Yeah, it's... It's my safe space, it's my happy space. It's my 24 seven access to escape everyone. Even trying to escape myself, come in here and just kind of put some music on and just do my own thing for a while. But yeah, it's my, it's, it's my happy place. It's good that I kind of have control to do whatever I like compared to where I was before. I was in this like dusty little backyard shed out the back of my house. Bless be the shed, don't get me wrong, I love that place. I would never expect and I never had this like preconceived or dream to be where I am. It just everything kind of happens for a reason. Not to say that I believe in fate or destiny or anything like that. But yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's fantastic. Um, I'd, I'd get sick of walking out into the back of the shed and then be like, caterpillars on my paintings <laughs> and I'd have to be like <laughs> get off. I'm a little bit under the pump at the moment in regards to I'm only doing commissions. I used to paint for fun and now I, people have put deposits down on things so there's a bit of a... It's great but it's a different frame of mind to come from yeah. coming in and being like what do I want to do today compared to I have to do yeah. this for that particular yeah. person. Like with painting a lot of people are like you could just paint over it, man. Like, yeah, it's so easy. And like, in my stuff, the layers are the piece entirely. So if you can see, if I can see something like the third layer in that I don't like, then it kind of ruins the entire thing for me. These are uh, boys my age in Wollongong, which I'm still yet to finish. They love, um, they love cars and they love their round sunglasses and they just need more shitty tattoos. The AA, whether that be for Alcohols Anonymous or always adventurous, you can take it as your own. Coming from the back of my shed to here, it's like, okay, I unfortunately, and I will emphasize unfortunately, have to pick up my game a little mm -hmm. bit because like I said, the validation of having to produce work that is worthy enough for a studio and enough for me, not only to like pay rent, I'm happy to be out of pocket, it's not all for the money, yeah. but it's all for the love of it. With everyone coming through and with all these other different creatives and there's other painters and there's other artists, you're like, oh babe, it pushes you. you know, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not a little kid anymore. And it's tough because I never wanted to do this. I'm self-taught. Really? I'm, oh, well, like, I still kind of don't. This is just a hobby. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you yeah. wish you were doing something else? Absolutely not. I'm, okay. I have the best. I'm living the absolute dream at the moment. This is, this is the best. It's... But you didn't think, like, from the shed, you'd end up being here and actually progressing? Oh, no, it was just something to kill time. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I feel bad if I sit around, even for an hour, and twiddling my thumbs. I'd be like, I have to do something! Thanks for having me. Stay hydrated. Oh, no, my pleasure. And always remember, uh, flossing is overrated. No, it's actually not. Dental hygiene is a crucial part of who we are. My mum says that on, when you go on a date, girls always look at your shoes and your teeth. I love my motherfucking mom. I love you, mom. <laughs>